So in front of me here, I have another one of these mysterious uh, USA made queen knives. As it says proudly on the metal tin with the large American flag and the made in USA uh, marking on it. Uh, these tins are kind of cool. I'll probably keep these tins just because, you know, they're kind of neat. It's nicer than a box, um, but I'd rather get charged less on the knife and not have a tin. Uh, but this is another Jumbo Trapper. I was on Smoky Mountain Lifeworks website and I found this knife, which I think the video on this will probably come out before the video on this. Um, and I found that and I decided, like, let me see if there's any new of the Queen series. Um, and there's a Trapper. There's like two more trappers. There's two more jumbo stockmans or not jumbo stockmans, jumbo trappers, which is what this is. And I think two more trappers or maybe two more mini trappers. Uh, I'm not sure. There's, there's a few more knives in the queen USA series. Um, and this one right here caught my eye because I'm a big fan of the jumbo trappers and I liked my red one so much, my smooth red bone one so much. So this is Jigged Green Bone, and I'm a big fan of green. Uh, I like green knives. Green's like my second favorite color. My first favorite color is purple. Uh, they don't make a lot of purple knives, so you know, whenever I can get a green knife, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, but this jigging is really interesting looking, and I think it looks really good. And it's certainly different, I will say. Um, and it's really random, and I like that. Um, but I really like the way it looks. Um, yeah, so that immediately caught my eye. Um, and they had this in a stockman, the jumbo trapper. And then I think they had like either a normal trapper or a mini trapper as well. I'm not so much a trapper fan. I love the jumbo trapper, but like a regular trapper, I don't really care about. Um, and I have a Baron Sun stockman. We believe we, the knife community, believe that Baron Sun are making these for Smoky Mountain Knife Works, although we're not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure. Some people out there are. Um, the knives, the pictures that I saw of the Queen Barlow that's coming out at some point looked very much like a Baron Sun Barlow, which is what makes me think that they're being made by Baron Sun. That's the only evidence that I have. Someone out there may have more evidence than that. I don't know. Um, but really into jumbo trappers, um, really into American made uh, pocket knives, obviously. And I saw this and I thought, I want that. So to match my smooth red bone uh, queen jumbo trapper, I bought one of these uh, jigged green bone jumbo trappers from the queen series that Smoky Mountain Knifeworks is doing. Um, and I really like the jig bone, um, the shield here has some like texturing on it, which is interesting. I still don't think the shield's pinned. Give me a second here. Um, let me see if I can see down in there. Where's my flashlight? It's way over there. Let's see if I can see down in there. No, the shield does not appear to be pinned. I think it's just glued, um, whatever. This is like an $80 knife. Um, you might expect something to be pinned at that price point. Um, case knives are about $80 these days and they're not pinned. So I certainly won't hold that against, uh, whoever's making the queen knives. Get a etch here that has the model number queen cutlery co number 101. Uh, just like the smooth red bone one and just like the vault in fallout three and the awful room in Georgia Orwell's 1984. Um, Underneath that, you'll see proudly 1095 carbon steel uh, tang stamp has the good old Queen logo there and USA. These are made in the United States. Uh, we're just not 100% sure who they're made by. We all have our suspicions that it's Baron Sun. Um, last time I made a video on the smooth red bone one, I didn't think that Baron Sun was making them because they're so well done. Uh, which really speaks um, multitudes to Baron Sun and their improve improvement of quality. Um, if it is indeed made by Baron Sun, and to be honest, they could be contracting different ones out to different companies. Like these could be contracted by somebody, 
and then like the Stockmans could be contracted to somebody and the Barlows could be contracted to somebody. They could all be being made by different manufacturers. Nobody really knows. Um, but getting back to this knife, really love the green uh, jig bone. I think it looks really nice. I'm a big fan of green, especially on pocket knives because it's different. Any kind of different color I really like. Um, red is more common than green. Uh, but I really like green bone. I have like a pink bone rust lock that I like. Um, if there's purple involved, I'm into that. Uh, but I really like green on a pocket knife uh, for whatever reason. Uh, but anyway, my phone's getting a little out of focus here because of this really shiny blade. Um, this is a liner lock for the main blade, just like the red one was. So you have to push that lock over to close the main blade. I'm going to close that gent gently, and I'll show you why. Um, and then you get a spade blade secondary, just like every jumbo trapper. It's rubbing the liner a little bit. Uh, not a big deal to me. Somebody will have a big deal with that and make a big scene about how this is an $80 knife and it shouldn't rub. Um, if I open this extremely carefully, it might not rub because the centering on it actually is fairly decent. It's not rubbing the liner just sitting there. It's when you go to open it, it presses up against that liner because I'm not being careful because it's a tool that goes in my pocket along with my keys and my change and everything, or maybe in a belt sheath because it is rather large. Um, but yeah, anyway, while I'm speaking about closing it and being careful while closing it, just like my smooth red bone one, you can see it right there. This one has some blade wrap. Now, on, on that video, I've had people comment and say that they would send it back and that's unacceptable and whatever else for an $80 knife and all that. I've gotten Great Eastern Cutlery knives that have blade wrap and they're, you know, the best that you can get when it comes to production, uh, slip joint pocket knives. It just happens. And it seems like the Jumbo Trapper is a hard pattern to make without blade wrap because both of my Great Eastern Cutlery Jumbo Trappers have blade wrap on one or both of the blades. Um, so what I will do to fix that is what I did right on my red one. I will put a small strip of leather up against the back spring to sit between the back spring and the blade edge so that when I shut the blade, it will not hit the back spring. It'll hit the piece of leather and it will pad it. Um, something else you can do to prevent that is just close your knives gent gentle, gently. There we go. Close your knives gently uh, like they're French and it won't hit the back spring. Um, that's not a dig on French, by the way. I love French pocket knives, uh, but they don't have kicks. Kick is this thing right here in case you don't know. Um, but they don't, French knives don't have kicks. Usually the blade just sits right on the back spring. So you have to be careful when you close them. That's what that was. That's not a disparagement. Disparagement. That's not some sort of, uh, me making fun of the French. It's French knives are just like that. Uh, but, but back to this knife, it does have some blade wrap. So I'll put a little piece of leather in there and I'll probably also just be more careful when I'm closing it. Um, overall. Very happy with the knife. It does have some slight, the other thing that I forgot to mention, does have some slight blade play in the main blade, which I will probably try to fix because I am weirdly obsessed with blade play and not having it. Um, so I will try to fix that um, and hopefully not ruin the action for the spade blade. Um, so I will try to fix that. Not a big deal to me. Um, I fixed blade play on a lot of knives. Um, but overall, I think it's pretty well assembled other than those uh, two things that I've pointed out, which somebody may decide are, you know, unexcusable for whatever reason. But if you look here at the back spring and the liners, they're fit together pretty well. Uh, the bone has some slight little like imperfections in it here, it looks like almost. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this because of the light and everything. But right here, it's not perfect, but there's not like a gap that I can dig under it with. Um, so that's probably fine right here. There's a little gap between the bone and the liner. Um, so these knives aren't perfect, but they're pretty well made. Um, and I'm really excited about Smoky Mountain Knife Works bringing the queen name back to USA made pocket knives. 
um, on like that two or three year run there where they were putting the queen logo, the queen name behind uh, Chinese made pocket knives. I don't necessarily have a problem with Chinese made pocket knives. Uh, Rough Rider knives, you know, they make decent knives and everything. Um, but something about the queen name uh, and having it on a knife that was made in China just felt wrong. Uh, now, Queen was originally a company in, uh, well, not a, maybe not originally, but most recently was a company based out of Titusville, Pennsylvania. And that's actually where Bill Howard came from. He came from the Queen uh, Cutlery Factory. So we wouldn't have Great Eastern Cutlery if it were not for Queen. Uh, so it feels nice that Queen is back in the United States. Um even if we don't know exactly who's making them. Uh, but I like this knife. I really like the jig bone. It's different, which I appreciate. Like most jigging is bigger chunks. It's either like super uniform or case does really good jigging. We're super random, but I like this. It's different. Um, I will probably at some point pick up the Stockman in this green jig bone because I really like it. Um, and I've become a fan of Stockman's, I guess. Um, but yeah, so this is the one of the newest offerings from uh, Queen over at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, the Green Jig Bone Jumbo Trapper. Uh, maybe go check one out if you're interested, or check out the other knives that they're offering over there as part of the Queen series. Um, I'm still waiting for the Barlows to come out. I saw them advertised in Smoky Mountain Knife Works catalog in like October or November, but they haven't come out yet. So hoping those will come out eventually. Um, but I haven't seen anything about it. So who knows? Um, uh, very happy with the green jig bone on this though. And happy to have another jumbo trapper because I really like them. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about stuff. Um, I'm using the different lighting setup again. It's a lamp taped to a tripod. Um, so let me know how this is working out. I think it looks better than how I was using lighting. Um, but if I turn the light off here, that almost looks better, but I don't know. Something about having an overhead light. I just feel like I need one. I don't know. Um, let me know what you think about the lighting if you stayed around this long. And other than that, that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a good day.